So the news that all you wanted to hear recently is that the F1 Clash new season is coming on the 9th of May. So that is a Tuesday and updates will go out to Apple and Android in no particular order, depending on when they get released. But F1 Clash 2023 season is coming on the 9th of May. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the new updates provided by Hutch in some sneak peeks to see what is potentially coming for. So we're gonna do some comparing as well. So let me know what you think down below as to the changes that are coming up. So whilst we'll give you as much detail as we can, it is a stream that Hutch and F1 Clash do. So make sure you do give the F1 Clash channel a like to get big breaking sneak peeks, as well as like, comment and subscribe on my channel as well. First of all, we look at something not so much groundbreaking, but a bit more visually better looking for ourselves on F1 Clash. We're getting a new user interface, and as you can see, it's a lot more digitalized, a lot more modern as well, compared to the kind of bulky one that we have at the moment. So it's going to be the little things in terms of graphic improvement that we're going to see on this game, which will hopefully lead to a big better package than it even is from Hutch and F1 Clash. A sneak peek that came from today was looking for your series races. So you can see at the top in 2022, you might be familiar with the series 12 layout and you can see basically Bahrain. Now, if you look below, you get the same sort of view, but in the bottom right of each track visual, you now get the temperatures and you get the rain percentage for each chance. Now, this is going to be useful because wet drivers are obviously sometimes a lot better than the dry. For example, Norris against Verstappen. You might want to use Norris because he's got better wet ability. If that is a 100% rain chance or even 50, you may want to switch your drivers. So this is Hutch giving us more details before we go into a race so we can judge how quick tyres are going to degrade and what sort of weather that we might be in for. So I think a very good, pleasing, basic information that is going to help a lot of players. We have previously shared the boost sort feature. And as you can see, this little snippet, we won't go over it too much but you will be able to like the boosts to arrange and sort them. They have been rebalanced as well. I'm not going to go into getting too much in case they do change, but it is now a big possibility to change your order. We then have a bit of a visual change for you. So again, at the top, you can see Max Verstappen from the 2022 season, 2023. And then into 2023, you, now you can see the rebranding of the changes. So looking a bit smarter, a bit sharper as well in terms of visual. There is some changes in the stats for the drivers, which will now come on shortly. But another better graphic from the team. Now, as you can see, driver stats have changed. So in 2022 season launch, there was only six overtaking defending consistency, fuel, tyre and wet. Now, I've only seen a sneak peek of five. I'm not 100% sure if there's going to be a wet weather, but potentially there will be. And some big changes to make. So consistency is gone, replaced with qualifying. We've also got race start in there as well. So this is going to be very interesting as how they play out. Obviously, a better qualifying will enable us to pick the best drivers to start on the grid with. But race start is going to be interesting as well because we'll also want the drivers that can make the most positions and get the best launch. So it's going to be very interesting to see how race start does work. Qualifying should be the same as consistency, but race start is the big interesting one there, and whether or not we do get wet weather ability also. We then saw three Series 12 epic parts. And this one here, we can relate straight to True Grit from the Series 12 of F1 Clash 2022. We've obviously got some new factors, speed, cornering, power unit and reliability. Massive reliability, same as True Grit had. So it looks like a very much a replacement for True Grit. But it really depends how effective this power unit is going to be instead of the likes of cornering aero, which is all merged in as one between the three, four stats. You can then see our flux replacement. 
So quite consistent stats across the board on Flux, and obviously it is not far off consistent stats also on the F1 Clash 2022 as well. So it's going to be interesting to see how that pans out. No pit time at the bottom though, which is an interesting one as well. Obviously pit time you can see on the top one is affected, so it'll be interesting to see what that does at max level. But it looks like it's pretty low. And obviously cornering, power unit, reliability and speed coming into factor with all parts. So is this a direct flux replacement which isn't going to be very usable or will it now in fact be usable in the new season? We also had the cloud raw which we did sort of get a sneak peek of what it looked like a couple of weeks ago. Now Lafia fan was power 70 this season and this one's not so much power dependent but is max out on power unit. So is power now power unit and speed is just more like aero? That's the big questions that we've got to ask. Is cornering just grip? And that is actually the way they have changed it. So is speed aero? Is power power unit? And is cornering grip? That's the question we will find out around the 9th, 10th of May as we go and have a look at these. But a very good insight from Hutch. Thanks for them to letting us all know about it as well. And it should be pretty fun to kick off. So I do hope this video has given you a nice little insight of the changes that are coming up on F1 Clash. Remember, 9th of May is the season launch and we'll bring you any new sneak peeks that Hutch deliver us as soon as we can. Remember, make sure you leave a comment down below what you think of the latest sneak peeks from Hutch. What are your thoughts? And make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and if you want to, become a channel member as well. Link is in the description. Get involved in the Discord server too. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for some more sneak peeks, hints and tips in the next one.